Virgo. Hey Virgo, what's up? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to do you another reading for you for July 2020. I hope all is well in the Virgolicious community. I do appreciate all the love and support you guys bring to the channel. You guys are amazing. Love you, love you lots. I do want to let you know that um, if you have a cancer placement of sun, moon, rising, um, or Venus, or the North Node, you have uh, probably, um, you have until Leo season, the beginning of Leo season, to get the 50% off of readings 2, 3, and 4. After that, it will be Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Leo. That gets 50% off of readings 2, 3, and 4. So if you have any of those placements, make sure you take advantage if you want a reading. My information's in the box below. If you don't have those placements and you want a reading, still reach out. There's going to be an extended to this reading. The link's in the box below. Make sure you join, if it, especially if it resonates with you. Um, it may not resonate with every Virgo placement. It may not resonate with every Virgo. You may have to switch the roles, Virgo, okay, depending on if you are a uh, ascending sign Virgo or if you're a moon sign Virgo, okay? If you're ascending sign Virgo, this could be, you know, you could be you could know someone who's going through this situation. doesn't necessarily mean it's you. All right. If you're a moon in Virgo, you could be experiencing this, you know, on the re on the reciprocatory end of the situation. If you're a sun sign Virgo, you could be acting this out and doing this to someone. So that's what people mean when they say sun, moon, rising and Venus. Well, Venus is how you love and how you receive love and how you attract love. OK, so just a little something I wanted to throw out there for you. But um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. This is the second time me doing this video for you. Now, we are in the last few days of Mercury Retrograde. I always have a problem in those last few days of the shadow period of Mercury Retrograde. So the video just cut off on me. So <laughs> I, I had just started. So only one card came out like now and then it stopped. So we'll see what's up. So maybe the universe didn't want us to talk about that. So let's talk about this. The Six of Cups energy here. This is you reminiscing about the past for some of you is what I'm getting. When I did the first video, the death card in reverse came out. So some of you could be reminiscing about someone, a loved one who you lost. Okay, a friend or family member that, you know, you lost. They may have transcended to, you know, the next dimension. For some of you, this could be about you remembering a past love and not able to get over it because the death card did come out in reverse. So that means being stuck, not letting, being able to let go of the past is what I'm feeling here. Um, especially with the Six of Cups energy, you're very nostalgic okay you're you're in retrospection mode at this time okay um some of you are in that metamorphic state like i said with the death card in reverse that came out the first time i tried to do your video that represents the fact that say for example um you have a caterpillar the caterpillar goes into the cocoon and it has to stay in that cocoon a certain period of time and then it, it comes out when it's ready to um to change into the butterfly same thing when you get pregnant. You're pregnant for nine months, okay? If you're pregnant longer than that, that's an issue, all right? So think about it that way. Think about it that it's nine months and somebody's still pregnant. It's like, what's going on here? This is not natural, okay? It's not a natural phenomenon. So it's like we have to investigate what it is that's going on. So some of you are feeling stuck, um, not able to transcend out of, you know, a past situation that's not going to change, whether it's the, the, the death or the loss of a friend or family or loved one um, via physically, meaning they transcended or passed away, or it could be the end of a relationship, the death of a relationship that is hard for you to get over with the Six of Cups energy. For some of you, it may be a child, and I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry for your loss. I truly am, because I'm thinking now here with Mercury in retrograde in, in Cancer, um, you know, which is the fourth house, um, that deals with your family. It deals with your heritage. So some of you may be, you know, mourning the loss or celebrating the loss. It might be the anniversary of a family member, a mother, nurturing figure. All right. Um, underneath the deck here, I got the, yep, see, Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. So this could be, you know, someone's mother who, who passed away or is in the process of passing away or may have recently passed away. Some of you are mourning the loss. Your mother may not be doing well. She might be sick. Pentacles represents physicality, you know, the physical uh, 3D body, okay? It also represents that body in motion to get money or, you know, to exert energy as in sex, as in, you know, physical energy, as in, you know, aggression. But Pentacles represents physical. So when the, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse, she could be somebody who's not well. She could also be someone's mother who passed away, okay? And, um, you know, this could be some of you who have 
um, like for my Mercury gentleman here, I mean my Mercury gentleman, my Virgo gentleman here, um, you could have children and the child's mother may have passed away or she may not be well or she may be terminally ill. So I'm sending my love and prayers out to you guys who are going through that. And, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, you won't be feeling stuck in that energy for too long. Um, all right, so let's move on here. What's the challenge in the situation here? What's the challenge for Virgo here? What's the challenge? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. The challenge is getting that spark back. You know, wanting to... You, you're, you're in such a depressive state for a lot of you. It's like... How can I say it? Okay, whatever happened, it took the wind out of your sail. You know? And that's a really, you know, crappy place to be. And so the challenge is you getting that spark for life back. That spark for, you know, if it was a relationship, if it wasn't somebody that you lost physically, you know, is you getting that spark back to want to date again, you know. Um, for some of you, it's just getting that spark of life back, you know. Just feeling passionate about things again. Feeling happy about things again. Some of you just really depressed right now. Alright, so that's your challenge here. Is what I'm feeling strongly. You know, um, some of you, you're not listening to your intuition. Your higher self is trying to talk to you as well. Um, we have the four swords underneath the deck. Okay, yeah, see some of you want peace of mind. And, um, you know, you want, you want to change here. Because I'm feeling like the wand, the challenge is the wand, the, the ace of wands, a new beginning. Now that this situation is, for some of you, this was a relationship. Now that the relationship is over, the challenge is you, you know, feeling, um, you know, like yourself again. Or feeling like you want to go out there again and date again. Okay? Some of you, like I said, you're just in mourning here with the four of swords energy. You just, you know, you're at home. You're to yourself. You're keeping to yourself right now. Um... You know, I'm feeling like a lot of you, you know, you could have been physically sick as a result of what you've been experiencing. Um, because I know that, you know, Virgo is very sensitive. When you are stressed out, Virgo, or wherever you have Virgo in your chart, when you get stressed out in that area of your chart, if you're not a Virgo, sun, moon, rising, or ascending, you can have Virgo somewhere else. Um, we all have actually have Virgo in our chart somewhere. Um, but in that area where you have Virgo, if you get stressed too much, it could take a toll on your health. So for some of you, you know, you could be feeling that right now. You know, you could be feeling stressed, you know, and it could be affecting your health. So some of you could be, you know, trying to recover. Some of you, um, that's what I'm feeling strongly with this Four of Swords energy. At rest, at peace, recovery, meditating. I'm getting that some of you need to meditate as well because the Ace of Wands talks about intuition as well. Listening to your intuition, listening to your higher self. So some of you, you know, the depressive state that you're in, you may need to talk to your higher self. You may need to establish that connection um, by getting sleep. Some of you are not sleeping. It's important that you get your rest so that your higher self can speak to you. You can get those downloads, okay? And that'll start helping you to get through the process. Some of you are not sleeping and you're very analytical. You think, 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 and you're not given the subconscious part of your brain time to do the work to figure it out for you because you're still in your logical mind trying to figure things out and so what you need to do is you need to rest you need to sleep so that you allow your conscious mind and also what you may need to do is put your take your find something to put your mind on find something else to think about to take your mind off of the situation so that the subconscious um, mind can do the work for you and that would allow you to come out of that cocoon stage. That would allow you to get to the point where, okay, you're at nine months. Now the baby's coming. The baby's just not sitting there. All right? So this is what I'm getting for you, okay? Now, um, as far as your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, what do they want you to keep in mind? Or what energy do they want you to embody? Or what energy have you embodied that they may want to talk to you about?
Okay. Virgo, we have the magician in reverse. Okay, this is your ruling planet, Mercury. The magician in reverse. This is what your spirit guides want you to keep in mind. Okay? I'm getting for a lot of you, you're, you, you, you have scattered energy, your mind. The magician in reverse could represent someone who has ill will or ill intention or someone who's not able to manifest um, because there could be something missing. You know, the passion is what's missing here. Okay, because the um, magician has to have a wand, he has to have a pentacle, he has to have a cup, and he has to have um, the sword. <laughs> he has to have all four in order to manifest. When he's in reverse, he's missing something. Okay, he's missing one of the four, or it could be any combination of the four. All right. What I'm showing here is the challenge is, is you getting that, that um, passion. All right. Talking to your higher self, talking to your creator, listening to your intuition. All right. So that's what's missing. So you're not able to manifest, meaning that you're not able to move forward. Okay, which is why you're stuck in the past. That's what I get for some of you. Some of you could be stuck in the, your spirit guys could be talking to you about this magician energy is because you may have had to let someone go who was not treating you right. Someone who had ill intent towards you. And you could be in a depressed state of that, uh, uh, of mind because of what that person did to you. All right. Now we have the knight of swords underneath the deck here. This is more Gemini energy here. Well, well, Gemini and magician is, is also ruled by Mercury. Okay, so this is all about communication here. Okay, um, so again, this could be somebody who may have lied to you, may have manipulated you, because the magician in reverse could also talk about ill intent. Mercury is all about communication, so someone could have omitted something, not told you everything, told you only what they wanted to tell you, you know, delivered a message to you that could have been aggressive. And, you know, it could have been to the point where it was, you know, them purposely trying to play mind games with you or trying to get you angry or trying to arouse some type of feeling in you. You could, you know, it be experiencing a situation where someone could be talking bad about you or you could have heard, you know, people saying negative things about you. OK, and this could be you feeling very angry about the situation that's going on. And you could be, you know, scattered minded about the fact that maybe you lost someone. And so, you know, you could be very difficult to communicate with. You could be very aggressive in your um, communications with people right now. You know, um, people could see you as someone who's just, you know, right now you're temporarily out of it. You don't say much to people because, you know, we had that four swords energy on, underneath the deck um, before. When we were talking about the Ace of Wands, so some of you are seclude, you know, you're isolating yourself from people, you're staying home, you're not really, um, you know, the, the usual social person that you are, okay? Some of you may need somebody to talk to, okay? Some of you could be very depressed to the point where it could be clinical, and you might need to talk to someone, and you may be feeling that you can't get the words out, nobody understands you, nobody understands what you're thinking, what you're feeling on the inside, Maybe you don't understand your thoughts, the types of thoughts that you're having. You know, you could be mad at the world right now, especially if you lost a lover. Um, you know, maybe someone who passed away or a family member. You could just be mad at the world right now. That's what I'm feeling for some of you. So let's see where your head is at, Virgo. What are you thinking right now? Where's your head at? What's going on with Virgo? We have the uh, Knight of Cups in reverse. This is your energy, Virgo energy. Okay, so some of you, you're just not doing anything. You don't have any plans to do anything. You don't want to do anything. This could be very stubborn energy, not wanting to accept the reality of the situation. Um, I'm feeling for some of you, you just don't have any plans right now. You just... Because Knight of Cups energy is an energy of someone who... When they're upright, this is someone who dots all their I's, they cross all their T's. I always say that with this card, but that's that's um, Virgo. Virgo is 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 very. Oh, how can you say it? They're very to the point. It's like everything has to be done right. It has to be done thorough, and it has to be done right. This is the Knight of Cups energy. This is why it takes this night longer than any other night to get something done. But when it's done, it's done one hundred percent. It's impeccable, and you know it. Especially if you know this person did it. See, the other nights may get it done quicker. 
but there's gonna be some problem here. You know, the Knight of Wands, it'll be wait, it'll be, you know, someone rushed through something and they miss something. The Knight of Cups, they'll, you know, they'll be too emotionally tied to something. And so they don't, you know, they can't take their emotions out of it. You know, the Knight of Swords is, you know, they overanalyze and think about it too much or they don't know how to communicate it. This person here, when he's in upright, he does everything perfectly. It just takes a little more time. When he's in reverse, he's not doing those dotting of the I's, crossing of the T's. He's not researching what he's doing before he's doing it. This could also be somebody having financial issues as well. So you could be focused on the fact that your finances are a little off. You know, um, you may not have a job. You know, um, with the five of cups underneath the deck here, this could represent the fact that you've ended something with someone with the knight of cups. Uh, I'm sorry, forgive me. This is the knight of cups in reverse. So this is um, Piscean energy. The Knight of Cups in reverse talks to me about where your head is at. So you could be looking at this situation here with the Magician in reverse as somebody who may have manipulated your feelings emotionally. Is what I'm feeling here. And so for some of you, you know, with the Five of Cups underneath the deck, you're trying to get over that situation because you have other responsibilities. Like you may have children to take care of. Like I said, there could be a Virgo who, um, you know, the child's mother passed away. And they're taking care of the children. They're mourning that loss right now. They're going through it. Um, or your mother could have passed away. And, you know, there's other responsibilities, other children in the family who have to be uh, taken care of or, or, or uh, looked out for. And you may not have time to really deal with your emotions with this King of Cups in reverse. That could very well be the case. On the flip side, if this is a lover situation where you got out of a relationship with, with someone because they were manipulative and they were playing with your emotions... You could be mourning that loss now, you know, and trying to get yourself together because maybe you want to get back out there on the scene and date. There could be some people, those other two cups could be people who are interested in you, but maybe you're just not feeling it right now because you're just not ready yet. Some of you just, you don't have time, you just don't have an interest in love right now. You're not offering your cup to anybody right now. You're not ready for a relationship right now. Some of you just may want to have sex. You may not even want to be in a relationship. You just, you know, you look back at the past relationship. It was too much stress. It was too much drama. I just want to have fun. I just want to, you know, be intimate, you know. And so you have to be careful with what you say and how you say things to people. Be with someone who's consenting, number one. But being honest and letting them know, look, I'm not interested in a serious relationship. You know, I just want to have... Um, fun or I you know I just I don't mind being intimate but I'm not interested in a relationship it's very important that you be honest with people because you're still mourning is what it is is why you're really not interested in anything serious so that's for some of you so I'm getting a couple different messages here yeah illusions is what I'm getting because Pisces is this cup uh, this card Pisces Mercury retrograde some of you have come, uh, you know, Mercury retrograde is going on right now. So we're seeing things that we had an illusion about, things that we were looking at through rose-colored glasses. When Mercury, when Neptune is in retrograde, those rose-colored glasses break. So we're seeing things for what they are. So for some of you, like I said, you're seeing that there was a relationship you were in where someone was emotionally manipulating you, playing mind games with you. And you are in mourning, like you're feeling it now because you're trying to get over it, but you're still stuck at it trying to figure it out and I think it's just because you're over analyzing shit because you're a Virgo that's what you do you over analyze shit so like I was telling you you should just stop get you some rest find some other things to think about this is what this is okay find other things to focus on things that will draw your attention away from that so that you can let your subconscious energy process that for you so you can get out of that cocoon what's the outcome here what's the outcome for Virgo We got the Knight of Wands. So I feel like with this Knight of Wands, I feel like if, you know, if you get you some rest, find other things to do, that you'll be able to come out of this. You'll come out of it sooner than you thought you would. Um, underneath the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune, and your luck will turn around. Your luck will start turning around. Things will start getting better for you. Because a lot of you got out of this situation because this was a person who was playing with you who was mentally, um, emotionally manipulating you, okay? 
who was running around with other people. All right. And that was a karmic lesson for you. That's why it was so heavy on you. And it's so difficult for you to get over. Like you're at the very bottom of that sunken place. You got no place to go now but up. So what you got to start doing is taking better care of yourself, finding other things to do to take your mind off of that situation. Like do something that you always wanted to do. Write down a list of things you always wanted to do that maybe you couldn't do because you were engaged otherwise. And now you have the freedom to do it. Write down those things. Think really hard about those things and do at least one of them within the next 20 days. Even if it's something minor, like going to an arts and crafts store, all right, and buying, you know, a canvas and buying some paint and just come in, you know, come into the house and, you know, throw something on the floor, put the canvas up, take the paint and just go ham. Do what you do. Get it out. Get a good book. You guys are very analytical. You think like crazy. Get a book. That'll take your mind off of things because you got to let your subconscious do the work. That's what's happening. You're overanalyzing and thinking too much. I can't keep saying that enough for you guys. All right? But you got out of this situation and you got good things coming to you. You got good luck coming to you, good karma coming to you. Just wait till Jupiter goes direct. Jupiter goes direct in another month. All right? So you might be feeling this little funniness or this unfortunate situation that's going on, this funny energy that you're feeling. You may be feeling it for another month, maybe throughout August. Some of you are going to come out of it a little bit before then, but you're going to start to see things change. Especially by the time Jupiter goes direct in September. All right. So that's the overall energy here is the wheel of fortune. OK, so your time is going to come around where you're going to do well. You're going to be doing better. All right. The wheel spins. You know, sometimes it's in reverse where, you know, you're feeling down and out. Things are not right, but the wheels coming around again for you. So things are coming to you. Good luck, good fortune, especially for those of you who were in relationships with people who were playing you and you were attached to this person and you finally let them go. The universe is about to bless you, okay? It's rough. You may not feel that way right now. The shit is on your mind heavy right now, but this is what the cards are saying, okay? The cards don't lie, all right? So what we're going to do, Virgo, is we're going to go to the extended and we're going to find out a little bit more about, you know, the blessings and getting you through this process so that you can get your head straight. So that by the time Wheel of Fortune, you know, Jupiter goes direct, you'll be able to collect your blessings. All right? The link's in the box below. Let me know if this resonated. Hit the like button if it did. Subscribe. You know, if you know somebody who's going through it, you know, um, shoot this video over to them. You know, um, maybe it'll help them out because this is why I do it. You know? Um, hit the notification bell if you haven't. That way you'll know when I post for all your placements. Extended link is in the box below. I'll see you in the extended or I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out, Virgo.